Okay, um, hello good Friday. So this is our continuation of lesson from the last week meeting. So let us proceed. Um, so as you remember, the lesson that in last week was a um, contemporary art. So ito, continuation lang ito nung lesson natin na yun. Just a few reminders for you guys. We have some uploaded links in our portals. So, um, student portal. Lahat ng links sa ito ay kailangan mabasa nyo. And this will help you to maintain kung ano yung mga inaral natin sa or retain yung mga inaral natin sa art studies in the past few weeks. Okay? So, lalo na ngayon na wala tayong pasok, these links will serve as your home um, uh, home lesson okay, or homeschool lesson. Okay? And, ayun. So, I think alam nyo na ito na Ganito yung sistema natin. 10% is from our lectures and discussion, while the 90% is, of course, from our readings. So, you are required to read the things na binigay natin sa portal. Okay, so let's have our discussion. Um, so, you're not supposed to raise your hand right now kasi nga baka nasa computer shop ka or like mag-isa ka lang sa bahay. So, I wanted to answer this in your head na lang or like uh, talk to yourself as if uh, this is yes, this is an art, or no, this is not an art. Okay, so let's begin. So, is this considered as an artwork or an art? Yes or no? Okay, so sige, tingin ka sa pader. Sure. All of the images can be considered as art. Okay? So, pangit ba? Ano ba yung sinabi dito ni contemporary art? Kasi sa contemporary art, anything can be art. Okay, so when you say anything, Anything na pumapasok sa utak mo, anything na naisip mo ay pwedeng maging example ng art. Pero, what's the catch, okay? The catch is that not all art is valuable. Meaning kasi, valuable, okay, hindi lahat daw ng art halaga. Okay, so like for both of these are considered as art, but not both of them has value, okay? So like for example, makikita nyo dito sa, um, Left side, yung painting na abstract expressionism. And sa kabila din, okay? Pero crayons yung ginamit na medium. So, di ba yung first painting, kamukha lang nung, nung sa higlat ito sa Jeffrey. So, um, both of them has different value or mas mahalaga yung sa kabila or yung sa isa. And this one, so, um, there is a cubism. Actually, parehas na sila ng art style, di ba? Pero, um, not both of them has value. So, magkaiba pa rin ang value. Then this one, so Mona Lisa and Catriona Grace um, portrait, okay? So both subjects are female about uh, sa babae, okay? So dalawang magandang babae, pero sabi, they are not the same, uh, they are not of the same value. So wag kaiba pa rin yung kanilang halaga, okay? What makes art valuable? Ano ba talaga yung reason para, or ano ba talaga yung nagiging um, hallmark natin para maging valuable ang isang art, okay? So, Pag-go natin sagot nito, I'd like to ask you some questions and um, siguro sa maganda kung isasulat mo sa notebook mo or at least mag-response ka sa akin para mas mataas yung retention mo, okay? So, um, which you think is more expensive? So, I'm going to show you two different paintings and you're, you will try to determine alin doon ang mas mahal, okay? So, painting A. So, I think you're familiar with painting A. This is... Um, Espolarium by Juan Luna, okay? And we um Espolarium. Which do you think is more expensive? Yung Espolarium or yung Mona Lisa? Okay? So, I'll give you 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1. Okay, so if your answer ito yung size niya, ganito yung presyo niya, okay? So, ano ba? Um number 2 your painting A, so look at painting A. This is the painting A na mukhang inscribble ng red ball pen sa pader. Okay? Painting B, so look at the details na nilagay ng artist dyan. And they're side by side. Now, which you think is more expensive? Is it the painting A, itong parang scribbles lang sa walls, or itong painting B na makikita nyo full, fully detailed and with colors? Okay, so I will give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, if you answer both, you are correct. Pero kung pumili ka sa dalawa, mali. Okay, so mampanangyari yun. I'll tell you later. So, sige, next. 
um, number three tayo. Painting A. So, look at the painting A. Actually, there is some kind of texture in here and numbers. Mukha siyang naka-impasto rin somehow. Pero, mas mukha siyang drawing ng kapatid mo nung two years old siya sa pader nyo. And, so, ito yung painting B. I think you're familiar with this, okay? Kasi parang ginamit na rin to sa nakaraang lessons natin. Now, let's put it to this. And, which you think is more expensive? Painting A or painting B? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, if you choose, then you are correct. Because painting B costs 3.8 million US dollars, while painting A costs 2.3 million US dollars, okay? So, milyot pa rin kahit na ganun. Okay, so, um, para mas makonvince pa kita, books, okay, so sabi ko nga, ito rin, di ba, mukha lang siyang painting ng tambay malapit sa inyo, sa pader, di ba? Not based on its appearance pala. Hindi based doon sa kanyang itsura. Okay, so saan? Okay, so look at this. These are two paintings with different detailing, and yet they are of the same price. Parehas ng presyo. So, si painting A ay 30 million US dollars. Why, itong naman sa kabila, si painting B ay 30 million US dollars din siya. So, what's the, the, the difference between these two? Okay, paano nila presyohan to? Na obviously, si painting A ay parang lesser effort than kay painting B. Okay, so, ito pa. Si Espolarium at si Mona Lisa. Okay, mas malaki si Spoilarium kumpara kay Mona Lisa. And yet, mas mahal pa rin si Mona Lisa. Bakit kaya ganun, okay? What makes art valuable? So, this time we're going to answer that, okay? So, um, I paste a link in this video. So, panoorin nyo siya. Pwede yung i-post muna tong video na ito or pwede um, i-continue natin. Pero mas magandang panoorin mo yung video. Kasi willing naman ako maghintay. Hihintayin kita. Sure! So, sige na. You can post the video. Now, if you don't want to post the video, let us proceed. What makes art valuable? Okay, so, supply and demand. Okay, so what is supply and demand? You should be familiar with this kasi ginagamit itong term ito sa economics. So, let us proceed. Pag sabi natin supply and demand, sabi dito, majority of the most popular artists of all time are dead. Since they are dead, they cannot produce any paintings anymore. So, um, meaning to say, taggy bells na sila. So, from this one, sa so pinakauna, sila to, si Vincent Van Gogh, si Da Vinci, at et, eto pang dalawa. Okay? Lahat sila ay patay na. Kahit na sila ang tinatawag natin uh, most popular or greatest artist of all time, eto mga to ay patay na. Okay? Taggy bells. Meaning to say, hindi sila mapagproduce ng painting. So, anong mangyayari? Anong resulta nito? This resulted to many rich people fighting over their limited paintings, okay? So, syempre, dahil nga hindi na makapag-paint yung artist, anong gagawin? Pag-aagawan na at ibibenta na ng mas mahal ng mga tao, okay? So, tignan nyo yung term na natin, many rich people, kasi sila yung mag invest at magbibenta ulit nito. So, let us pray. Um, ganito, parang kailangan pala ay mamatay muna tayo bago tayo pahalagahan. Charot. So, this is the reason why even unfinished or simple-looking paintings of famous artists are still in very high demand and sold for high prices. So, take for example this one. So, tignan nyo to. Diba? So, parang na-board lang yung artist. Tapos, scribble scribble lang siya sa table, ganun, sa karindirya. Tapos, pinta ng mga tao ngayon kasi patay na siya. Sure. Pero, yun nga. Kasi nga, that person is one of the greatest artists of all time. Okay? So, kahit patay na siya, mas mahal pa rin yung kanyang mga ginawa. Um, pwede kayong magbasa ng ganitong artwork sa art studies class kung famous na kayo, pero kung wala pa kayong reputation, this type of art is a very low value. Okay, kaya huwag nyo kaming kamekamehin dyan. Char! Number two, artist reputation. Okay, so artist reputation. So, sige, pag-usapan natin. Okay, so, are you familiar with this artist? Well, nakalagay naman yung name niya. This is Anne Curtis. Okay, Anne Curtis Ambiciosa. So, nagkaroon siya ng um, concert tour before, noong January 28, 2012. Okay? Pero hindi pa kayo nagtataka or like, ever wonder why Anne Curtis has a concert despite her lack of talent in singing and other very talented and the other very talented artists don't have one. So, meaning to say, bakit si Anne Curtis pa? Bakit siya pa? Bakit hindi na lang si ganito? E mas magaling siya kumanta, di ba? So, bakit ba si Anne Curtis ang nagkaroon ng person? A concert kumpara sa ibang magagaling na singer talaga. Okay, so isa lang sagot dyan. This is simple because she is famous. So sikat kasi si Anne Curtis. Kaya siya nagkaroon ng concert, okay? So, 
fun. As an artist, you don't you don't necessarily have to have the most intricate painting to be considered high value. You just need to be famous. Again, you just need to be famous. Ayun na yung kailangan mo, okay? So, um, majority of the most popular artists in art history were not copycats. Hindi sila gaya-gaya, okay? So, hindi gaya-gaya si Vincent Van Gogh. Sino pa yung mga kilalang um, modern arts, okay? Sila, uh, Camille Pissarro, okay? George Sura, those people, hindi sila gaya-gaya. They create sila sarili ng style. They did not follow the rules but focus on their own style. Even if they were rejected at first. So, di ba nga, isa sa mga um, real or like um, solid evidence niyan ay yung kay Vincent Van Gogh where he was bullied for having such art style, di ba? Kasi nga, way back, for the people, um, for the people in his era, it's not the uh, good type of art or parang inferior art yun, di ba? So, look at this one, like for example. So, this is the cubism of Leon, uh, well, the cubism of Pablo Picasso. Okay, so makita nyo dito sa right side, yung kay Pablo Picasso's cubism, and yung sa left side ay yung kay Da Vinci. Okay? So, look at the difference. Diba? So, way back, yung kagaya nung painting ni Pablo Picasso ay hindi considered na art. Okay? Pero ang sinasabi natin, um, itong si Pablo Picasso, meron siyang sariling art style. Okay? Hindi siya copycat. Si Da Vinci, way back, ito lang yung pinakakinikilala nilang superior art. Meaning to say, marami sila na ganito ang art style. Marami sila na ganito ang um, datingan ng painting na realistic. Okay. Take for example, this one, diba? Makikita nyo naka-impasto. Okay? Makikita nyo naka-landscape. So, way back, ito yung kinoconsider na inferior arts. Okay? Pero still, ano nangyari? The artists or yung mga artists na gumawa nito, hindi sila copycat. Um, this is a lesson for those who want to pursue fine arts. Huwag gaya-gaya na mikha ng unique or sariling style. Remember, contemporary art is creating your uh, personal and unique style. Okay? Kung ang ginawa mong contemporary art ay ginaya lang sa internet, then it is not really contemporary art dahil walang originality. Again, walang originality. Kasi ano yung gusto ni contemporary art? Paano mo masasabi na maganda ang isang contemporary artwork? Number one is that um, dapat yung artwork mo ay original. Hindi mo ginaya sa iba. Kaya nga, di ba yung mediums na ginagamit ay pa iba iba Some uses hairs, bones, blood. Some uses bullets or anything na makita nila sa paligid nila. Di ba? Kasi ang gusto ng mga artists nowadays sa contemporary art ay magkaroon ng originality. And having an originality or ang pagiging original, okay, it means that you broke or you, you're breaking the rules na ibinigay ng society sa sining. Okay? So, let us... Number four, condition. So, paano yung condition? Well, this is the um, Edward Monk's uh, scream. So, nung una siyang pininting, um, vibrant color, makikita nyo na matingkad yung kulay. Pero through time, ano nangyari dito? Artworks fade and disintegrate. This lowers their value. So, the more na... Um, yung artwork ay tumatanda or tumatagal, the more siyang nag-fade. And well, dahil nga nag-fade siya, the more siyang nawawalan ng value. Kasi tignan nyo to, di ba unti-unting parang nabubura yung itsura ng painting. Take for example, ito, virtual reconstruction, okay? Uh, plus 100 years, okay? So, ito yung actual na situation, gato siya. Pag ini-enhance siya, nawawala yung kanyang value. So, take for example, ito yung best example talaga we have the Lamb, Lamb of God painting, Restoration, reveals original work that looks like a creepy goat. Okay, so, makikita nyo sa left side nyo, yung original work niya na nag-disintegrate, okay, or na luma na. So, makikita nyo, nag-crack-crack na yung surface ng painting. Pero on your left, uh, in your right side, makikita nyo naman yung restored version ng the Lamb of God, okay? So, hindi siya mukhang maganda, to be honest, di ba? Hindi siya, hindi siya mukhang lamb, it looks really creepy. Okay? So, ano nangyari? Uh, it lost its value, okay? So, sabi nga dito, when an artwork undergoes restoration, it also loses some of its value. Bakit nawala yung value niya? Number one is because you change or the person, the people altered the composition, the original composition of the artwork was altered or is altered kapag nire-restore siya. Nagbabago. So, yung essence niya sa pagiging antigo or yung essence niya sa pagiging um, early painting or like earliest type of painting, nawawala. Okay? Have the number five, prices of similar pieces. So, paano natin sinasabi na price of similar pieces? Okay? So, pag-usap. 
So as you can see, these are the Impressionism artworks, okay? So they are paintings from the same period, artists, or paintings with the same subject may have similar prices. So take for example, sabi ko nga sa inyo, these are all Impressionist artwork. Now, this are, since they are the same um, art movement and they are from the same era, okay? Yung presyo ng mga ito, halos pare-parehas lang talaga. Okay? So, ganun din pala siya. And number six, where it has been exhibited. So, take for example, um, oh wait, where it has been exhibited. So, when I say where, it's talking about the place, kung saan naka-display yung artwork. So, take for example, by just looking at the billion dollars ang presyo. So, ano naman sa atin sa Philippines? Kamusta naman yung sa atin sa Philippines? Well, in the Philippines, um, we have... Oh, wait. Okay, so in the Philippines, we have... Uh, artwork. Doon din bunga base, okay? Kung magkano yung magiging presyo ng isang... Um, awards or recognition. Okay, so pag sabi awards or recognition, we're talking about yung mga na-receive ng artist. Proceed. Um, when an artwork or the artist is given an award or recognition, the value of the artwork increases. So, bakit kasi nga, um, the person who made that um, painting or the person that made that artwork is basically a very good um, artist. Kasi nga, nakaka-receive siya ng maraming reward, di ba? Nakaka-receive siya ng maraming award and recognition. Not just here, locally, but also internationally, okay? This. What are the awards or recognition can artists in the Philippines receive? Um, so, if you're thinking of a uh, Nobel, uh, Nobel Prize, that is correct. And if you are thinking about the National Artist Award, that is correct, okay? So, the National Artist Award is the highest national recognition given to Filipinos who have made significant contributions to the developments of the Philippines, of the Philippine arts and letters, okay? Now, let's talk about this. Music category, dance, theater, and we have um, visual arts. Okay, so visual arts, if you're thinking about um, Carlos Botong Francisco Fernando Amorsola, you are correct. And if you are thinking about sa literature, Nick Joaquin, okay, based on your literature before, sa yung one yo, then you are also correct. And in film, if you are thinking about Lino Broca, then you are also correct. And let us proceed. Based on your UM1 discussion, what are the criteria for the National Artist Award? So, ano ba yung mga criteria na naaalala nyo? Now, if hindi mo maalala, let me just um, recap it to you or uh, recall it. Number one, ano yung kailangan mo? Number one, kailangan ikaw ay Filipino citizen or kailangan sabi dito, Filipino citizenship. Okay? So, dapat ikaw ay nakatira sa Philippines. Okay? Dapat ikaw ay dito nakastay for like 5 to 10 years. Okay? Dapat dito ka hindi umaalis ng Pilipinas. Siguro pwedeng umaalis pero hindi ka nag-stay ng months sa ibang bansa. Have contribution of work to nation buildings. Uh, 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 contribution works to nation building. O, paano yun? Okay, so, um, if your artwork promotes, um, uh, what do you call this? The term is, like, pagiging makabayan or pagiging proud sa bayan, then that is also a point for your, for your, for you to be a national artist. Number three, impact of works or style on succeeding generation of the artist. Meaning to say, you are giving inspiration. As a national artist, you should give inspiration to the next generation of the artist. Okay? So, mag, uh, magkaroon ka dapat or maibigay mo dapat, yung magbigay ka dapat ng inspiration sa mga susunod na generation ng artist. So, meaning to say, we're not just talking about the present artist, but we're also talking about the future artist. Okay? So, look at the number three. Impact of works or styles on succeeding generation Generations of art. Kailangan kasi si Nora Honor, okay, hindi siya dapat naging drug convicted. Bakit? Kasi malaki yung dapat maging impact niya sa mga susunod na generation of artists. So, kailangan as a national artist, kailangan mo rin maging isang role model. So, um, disqualify na si Nora Honor, si Nora Honor doon, kaya hindi siya tinatanggap. Okay? Count as national artist sa ating bansa. So, recap. Okay, o kaya pa ba? Kaya pa? Kaya mo yan. So, recap tayo. What makes art valuable? Okay, so number one, supply and demand. Ano yung number one? Yes, it's supply and demand. Artist reputation. Ano ulit? Artist reputation. Okay, ano yung number one? Okay, very good. Size. Ano yung number three? Size. Okay, very good. How about the number two? Number one? Okay, very good. 
So if naaalala mo to, nang hindi tumitingin sa notebooks mo, then you are a certified kulturati slash kabisote with an idea on it. Nice. Condition. Anong number four? Condition. So sige, ikaw mo ulitin mo. Okay, very good. How about the number three? Number two? Number one. Okay, very good. Prices of similar pieces. Ikaw nga? Okay, very good. So kung naalala mo yung number four, sabihin mo nga. How about number three? Number two? Number one? Okay, very good. If naaalala mo yun, magaling ka. Where it has been exhibited. Ano ulit? Where it has been exhibited. Very good. Ano yung number five? Number four? Number three? Number two? Number one? Okay, very good. Number seven, we have awards or recognition. Ano ulit yung number seven? Awards or recognition. Okay? So sige, ikaw nga, ano yung number seven? Ano yung number six? Number five? Number four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. If ayan ay nakabisado mo without looking at your notebook, you are a certified culturati slash kabisote with ideas. Okay, so, ano sabi? Anything can be an art, but not all art is valuable. Ang lahat ng bagay ay pwede maging sining. So, balit hindi lahat ay may halaga. Hindi lahat may halaga. Nagigets nyo? Nagigets? Okay, very good. Let us Let's have our one last concept. Isa na lang, isa na lang, kaya mo yan. Academic versus non-academic art. So, nagtataka ba kayo kung bakit namin binabalik ang inyong mga artworks sa pag hindi kami nasasatisfy dito? Well, kasi dahil dito sa dalawang ito. Okay, so let's, let's talk about it. So, kapag sinabi natin academic art, sabi dito, mas use principle and elements of art. While kapag sinabi natin non-academic art, kahit ano. Ano ulit? Kahit ano. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin academic art, also, academic art, where kailangan makita namin yung principles and elements. And the reason kung bakit namin binabalik ang artworks nyo is simply because we cannot see the elements and principles na inaral natin dyan. And that is what we call academic art. Nagigets mo? Okay, very Um, We have our output number one and we will just place it in the comment section or in the top of our um caption. So, ayun lang kulturatis and thank you for listening. Goodbye! Ito yung sound na rin yung audio nyo.